Yehovah Elohim Svaot. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach Kodesh, that it may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Yoel, Joel, chapter 1. The word of Yehovah came to Yoel, the son of Petuel. Hear this, you leaders. Listen, all who live in the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your days? Or in your ancestors' days? Tell your children about it, and have them tell it to theirs, and have them tell the next generation what the cutter worms left, the locust ate, what the locust left, the grasshoppers ate, what the grasshoppers left, and what the shearwormers ate. Wake up, drunkards, and weep, wail, all you who drink wine, because the juice of the grape will be withheld from your mouth. For a mighty and numberless nation has invaded my land. His teeth are lion's teeth. His fangs are those of a lioness. He has reduced my vines to waste, my fig trees to splinters. He plucked them bare, stripped their bark, and left their branches white. Lament like a virgin wearing sackcloth for the husband of her youth. Grain offering and drink offering are cut off from the house of Yehovah, the Kohanim, are mourning. Those who are serving Yehovah, the fields are ruined, the ground is grieving, for the grain is ruined, the new wine dried up, and the olive oil is wretched. Despair, you farmers, lament, vine dressers, over the wheat and the barley. The harvest from the field is lost, the vines have withered, the fig tree wilted, also the pomegranate, date palm, and apple tree, and all the trees in the fields have withered, and the people's joy has withered away. Kohenim put on sackcloth and weep. Wail, you who serve at the altar, come, lie in sackcloth all night long, you who serve my Elohim. For the grain offering and the drink offering are withheld from the house of your Elohim. Proclaim a holy fast. Call for a solemn assembly. Gather the leaders and all who live in the land to the house of Yehovah, your Elohim, and cry out to Yehovah. Oh no, the day, the day of Yehovah is upon us as destruction from Shaddai is coming. The food is cut off from before your eyes. Also joy and gladness from the house of our Elohim. The sea grain is rotting in our furrows. The granaries are deserted. The barns in ruins because the grain has withered. How the animals groan. The herds of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture. The flocks of sheep bear the punishment too. You have all, I cry out to you. You have all. For the fire has consumed the pastures in the desert. And the flames set ablaze all the trees in the fields. Even the wild animals come to you, panting, because the stream breads have dried up, and fire has consumed the pastures in the desert. How can we learn to love our Creator? After reading this opening first chapter of Joel, we can seek the written word of Yehovah, proclaim the written word of Yehovah. Listen and obey the written word of Yehovah. Trust that Yehovah will judge and he is just. Offer yourself as a living sacrifice to Yehovah. Serve Yehovah wholeheartedly 
Know when to put on sackcloth and when to weep. Know when to proclaim a holy fast and call for a solemn assembly. Know when to cry out to Yehovah. Know that the day of Yehovah is upon us and the destruction from Shaddai is coming. When all is cut off, cry out to Yehovah for help. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? Point all to listen and obey the written word of Yehovah. Bear one another's burdens. Cry out to Yehovah for help. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shalom, shalom.